Customers communicate to Williams what their future natural gas needs will be through a process we call an open season. Once Williams identifies the needs of the market, it begins the long process of developing a project proposal for its customers to meet their future needs. Pipeline engineers use computer modeling to identify what new facilities will be required. After analyzing maps, aerial photos, and studying other available data, a preliminary route or location for the new facility is identified, as well as route alternatives. There are many factors involved in the process of selecting natural gas pipeline facility locations. Federal regulations require that the pipeline company conduct environmental studies and analyze alternatives as part of the proposal. Williams is dedicated to working with communities to select facility locations that balance impacts on the community and the environment with the needs of customers. Early involvement from communities helps Williams identify and address issues related to project design and location. When determining the location for transmission pipelines, pipeline companies are strongly encouraged by federal regulators to consider routes along existing corridors, such as pipeline rights of way, roadways, utility corridors, railroad corridors, other easements. The pipeline company must evaluate a number of environmental factors, including potential impacts on residents, threatened and endangered species, wetlands, water bodies and groundwater, fish, vegetation and other wildlife, cultural resources, geology, soils, land use, air and noise quality. Survey teams are dispatched to the area to gather data that will help identify potential issues with the proposed route. This can include civil surveys, archaeological surveys, wetland delineations, surveys for vegetation and wildlife surveys, soil testing, or stream crossing surveys. Generally, environmental field studies cause little or no disruption to landowners. Field crews will walk the pipeline study corridor. In some cases, they may need to dig small holes or leave small stakes behind. 